welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Victoria, but you can call me Vicky. Today I'm going to be doing a collective haul from a bunch of different stores. I have clothing, I have bathing suits, I have accessories, makeup, like everything that I've bought so far in the summer. So I hope you guys are looking forward to seeing what I got and if you want to see that then just keep watching. Okay so we're gonna start off with an order that I did from Shein. So I just have a box of stuff that I got from Shein. Um, basically I wanted a lot of different accessories and stuff so that's kind of the whole haul that I got from Shein. I love Shein and honestly I trust it more than I would trust like Wish or anything like that because they actually have reviews. Um, so this is the stuff that I got. So I'm gonna have the prices down below because I don't really remember everything um, So it'll be down there if you're interested So the first thing that I got is this cute little mirror and it's just sorry not to blind you guys, but It's just this really small mirror and I just used it today to do my eye makeup And I think it works really well by the way if you recognize this it's the same day same outfit as my boxycharm video So sorry about it, but I wasn't gonna change because I look cute so, all right, the next thing that I got is actually like home decor, but I wanted something to go up here for my videos, um, just to be a cuter little background. So I got these cactus, they're like stickers, they're like wall stickers that you can put up and they have all different kinds. It's really cute, um, so I will be putting those up soon. So the next thing that I got is this two pack of headbands and they just have like a little knot in them but I really love wearing my hair up like in a bun especially if it's like second or third day hair curly girls you know what I'm talking about because my hair doesn't stay curly for three days it stays curly like maybe one day if that if I'm lucky so I just like to wear a lot of headbands and this one is a navy blue one with some light blue and white stripes and then this one is pink with gray and black and white stripes and the next thing that I got is this pink purse. And y'all, it's actually really gorgeous and pretty high quality. So I'll do a little close up for you guys. It says happy dream at the bottom, like a bag would say the name of the designer. But it has these studs on the side, buckles for the straps. And although it's not very big, although it's not very big, I've, I've fit stuff inside of it before. You know, you just need to fit, you know, your wallet and your phone. That's about it. And it also came with its own bag to put inside of it. So as you can tell, it kind of fits inside of there perfectly. But I wouldn't be able to fit my wallet inside if I used this too. Um, but this also feels pretty good quality. And I think this was, this was fairly cheap. So I'm very impressed with this. I really wanted a pink bag for summer. And this is the perfect price. Okay, so the next thing I got doesn't look the best. It looks cheap. I think it was $3. Um... But I was interested to seeing how, you know, a $3 handbag would look. Um, the strap looks horrendous. It looks like it's cheap. Um, you know, it's $3, whatever. And the inside is actually pretty nice. It's pretty big. It has two slots and then like a zipper pouch in the middle. Um, the bag honestly doesn't look that bad. I might like wait and see if I can get the kinks out of this strap because it looks kind of funky right now. So I might get some use out of this, but we'll have to see. And the next thing that I got is actually this like scalp massaging brush and you just like hold it like this and in the shower you rub it on your scalp while you're doing your shampoo. So the next thing I got um, are these lashes. They were a dollar and I didn't think that they were purple, but look at that guys. They're purple. So I probably won't be using these. Maybe for Halloween, we'll see. So they were a dollar, whatever. So the last things that I got from Shein uh, were a couple jewelry pieces. And the first is a pack of one, two, three, four, five, six uh, hoop earrings and they're all gold. They're all different sizes and I'm wearing the smallest ones today. I really like the small ones. Like I think these might be like my new everyday earrings. They're just small and dainty and cute and I really love them. They honestly look so good for the price that they were. So I was very impressed with these. And the next thing, well actually I did get this a while ago from Shein. So this is a very pretty three layer necklace. I also got this choker and it's just a beaded choker. Just white beads. I figured it'd be really pretty. And the next thing I got is this pack of gold rings and it comes inside of this plastic bag. I'll try and do a try on for you guys. Some of them don't really fit me, but um, I can use them as midi rings, so it's not too bad. And the next thing that I got are these uh, silver rings. 
and they did come in one bag together like this was a whole set but these are the ones that I'm actually going to wear and these are the ones that I decided that I'm not going to wear <laughs> okay so the next store that I went to is the 99 cent store actually and the Dollar Tree I don't remember which sunglasses are from which store um, but they were both really cheap I think one was 99 cents or no, one was a dollar and one was like $1.99. I just wanted some, you know, cheap pairs of sunglasses that I could wear for vacation and I won't care if they get scratched or if I lose them or I break them. I won't really care because they were a dollar, so. And then I also got this bag from the Niancent store. I know this one was from the Niancent store and it says, yes, you can. And it has these really cute palm fronds or whatever those are called on them and I figured I could just use it to like put my bathing suits in or it's pretty big actually or like when I'm going to the beach I can put my phone and like chargers and stuff in here and it won't get wet so I figured this would just be like really good to have when I go to the beach oh okay so I went crazy oh I bought the body works and I got all that stuff so basically I went ham um, for the Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale and I did two transactions so I could get two $10 off coupons so I saved $20 whoop. Uh, but what I usually do is I go and I buy a lot of stuff just so it'll last me until the next semi-annual sale or even after that um, and so that's how I do the semi-annual sale that's why I spent so much just in case you're wondering okay so we're gonna start off with the first bag right here and this is everything that I'm gonna keep at home with me like that I'm gonna use right now during the summer and then this bag is everything else. So everything that's gonna go to my apartment back at college that I can have for later whenever I need it. So the first thing that I got is this Pearberry Ultra Shea Body Cream. It smells so good. I have the Pearberry uh, Body Wash right now, so that's why I wanted to get this and so I could use those together. And then I also got this Lavender and Sandalwood Natural Lavender Oil Clay Body Scrub. And I never tried the clay one and this one smelled really nice. So I got it. So the next thing I have in here is this Cloud Butter Electric Blue Sky. So it's basically just a body butter. Okay, so the next thing I have in here is this Natural Mineral Complex Hydrating Body Oil in Moonstone. This is from the like mineral collection. I do have a mineral collection um, body spray that I really love. And I've been trying to use body oils, but one that I got recently was not good at all. Um, so I'm gonna try and use this one and we'll see how it goes. The next thing in this bag are these two um, hand sanitizers. One is I'm Really a Mermaid and the other one is Resting Beach Face which is Mango Colada. And then the last thing in this box to keep is the Cannoli and Chocolate Italy Candle. Oh my god it smells so good. It smells just like chocolate so I figured my mom really likes sweet like um, baking kind of scents so I figured I'd get this one and we can um, we can light it downstairs in the kitchen and she'll really like that. Okay, so now for all the other stuff and this is a lot. So I'm gonna try and go by like section. So these are the um, shower gels that I got. I only got two, I try to get two of everything. So that way I'm just stocked up. Um, I got wild Madagascar vanilla shower gel and then I got bourbon strawberry and vanilla shower gel. Oh, that smells so good. I love anything strawberry. So next I got some hand soaps and I'm actually allergic to the like foamy hand washes at um, Bath and Body Works. So I only got the, um, what are these called? The deep cleansing hand soaps and um, this one from their, I don't know, like earthy line or whatever. So I got Coconut Days Coconut Colada Deep Cleansing Hand Soap. And then I also got Oh Happy Day Pink Grapefruit Pop. And then I got the Lime and Turmeric Nourishing Hand Soap with Avocado Butter. I don't remember how this smells. Yeah, it smells like lime. So I figured this one would be nice to either put in the kitchen or just when I'm feeling like I need something like that smells like lime. I don't know. Okay, so the next thing is another um, body butter. So like I said, I got the Cloud one and this is number two. This is the almond and vanilla with natural almond oil whipped body butter. And this is the other Ultra Shea body cream that I got in Georgia Peach, which I think I have the Georgia Peach shower gel back at my apartment right now, so that's why I got this one. And then the other body scrub that I got is the coconut milk body scrub, and it's a medium exfoliator. Okay, next is kind of funny, but I didn't really have these, and I think they were a dollar each, but they have face masks at Bath & Body Works. So I got Totally Terrific. I got See You Soon. 
So this one has sea minerals and hyaluronic acid. The other one had tea tree oil. This one is cool as a cucumber, which is cucumber and aloe extract. So I figured I'd give those a try and just see how they worked out. So the next thing I got are these three wallflower plug-in refills. So I got champagne toast. So I also have mango mai tai. And then I have pistachio ice cream, which I have this one in a candle and it smells so good. The last three are these um, antibacterial hand gel, Germex, whatever you wanna call it. Um, I got one in Sweet as Strawberries. And then I think these are both the same one, Eucalyptus and Spearmint Aromatherapy for stress relief. So I got these for school and I keep these in my backpack just in case I needed some stress relief, so. And then I also got two uh, bath bombs, but I don't use bath bombs at my house because my bathtub isn't really, like I don't like to take a bath in that one. I like to take a bath in my apartment. Um, so I got one for happiness. It's bergamot and mandarin. And then I also got one that's vanilla and patchouli, patchouli. And finally, the last thing that I got from Bath and Body Works for the sale is the Cafe Bouquet Paris Candle. This smells like coffee, but also like not. What is this? Espresso beans, white tuberose, and bergamot zest. So I really like, this was like a very unique scent to me. So keeping on the bath trend, which doesn't really make any sense because it's Victoria's Secret, but uh, I went to Victoria's Secret for the semi-annual sale. And the first two things that I got while in there were these two bath fizzies. And they're both palm trees. And one of them is Make Waves Bath Bomb and it is Wild Water Lily. It smells so good. And then the other one is Vacay Vibes Bath Bomb Pink Sea Salt which doesn't have too much of a smell. They were only 99 cents, so that's why I got those. <laughs> and then um, I got two bras, well, bralettes, I guess, but I got this cute little bralette. I don't have anything that's um, this material. I just have ones that are like um, all the lacy ones, but this one feels really nice, and I don't have anything this color either, so I figured it'd be really nice to wear underneath some tank tops get some good wear out of that one. And then I also got this sports bra, which has butterflies on it. It looks like a child would wear it, but it's really cute. And I like it and it has like this very nice padding. So yeah. Okay, so next we're gonna go into makeup. So I did a little Ulta haul right before, um, I think like at the end of May. So the first thing I got is actually like a skincare product. It's the Burt's Bees Brightening Skin Perfecting Serum. So I don't have a serum that I put with my daily skincare routine, and so I figured I needed to look for one. And this one had really good reviews, and it also says it helps with dark spots. And I do already have one little dark spot. I blame it on band, I'm always out in the sun. But yeah, so far, I think I've been using this for two weeks now, and I think I have seen a little bit of fading with my dark spot, and overall my skin looks a little bit more glowy. So the next thing I got could also be considered skincare, I guess? Um, it's this Pacifica Dreamy Cover Bare Faced Foundation Serum. It has SPF 20. You can take it out of the packaging. I just thought that this looks so pretty. Like, look, y'all, it has gold on it. Like, it's pretty. But I have already used this. Uh, so yeah, this is what it looks like. It says it's also 100% vegan and cruelty-free. And I've already tried this out. I do really like it. It's not full, it's not like a full coverage or anything. It's a serum. Um, but it's a really good, like, natural, everyday kind of foundation. And it also has skin beneficial ingredients in it. So it's good for your skin, too. So the next thing I got along the lines of foundation is this Makeup Revolution Stick Foundation. And I got mine in the color F8. And it's kind of like my perfect foundation color right now. I, I have it on today. I really like how it wears. It does kind of seep into my pores a little bit and emphasizes my dry patches. But besides that, it's really good and I like how fast it is. I could even get this to be like a medium to light coverage foundation by just putting a few stripes and just blending it out on my entire face. And I have done that a few times and I really like how that looks. I like it for full coverage and I like it for that too. And it's just fast and easy so I really am glad that I bought this. So the next thing I got is also a face product and it is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer in the color C7. And it is honestly, so people say it was like a dupe for Tarte. Um, I don't think that just because it's a little less full coverage, but it doesn't dry out your under eyes as much as Tarte does. And I kind of like how this wears underneath my eyes better. It doesn't cover as much, which is 
not the best because I do have dark under eye bags, but it covers enough for me to wear it like on the daily and be comfortable with it. So I wear this when I wear like medium coverage or less foundations. Cause when I wear a full coverage, I go for Tarte Shape Tape. But anything less and I'll go for this. And then a couple more face products that I got are some powders. So I got this Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. And I don't know if you can tell if I get it open. Um, but I have already made a dent in it and I use it almost every day on my under eyes and I love it. I love it so much. This in combination with the Makeup Revolution Concealer has been my go-to. And then the next thing I got is the Milani Prep Set and Glow Illuminating Transparent Powder. It's so pretty y'all. Honestly, it's so pretty. I would really recommend this for like a combination or dry skin girls because it gives you just a little bit of glow but it keeps your makeup locked in all day. Like I don't get too oily by the end of the day while wearing this, um, but it still makes my face look natural. Okay, and next I got some lip products. So the first thing I got is this Essence Shine 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 Wet Lip Lip Gloss, and it's in the color seven, happiness in a bottle. Okay, it's just like a very cute pink color. I honestly love the applicator of this. Let me show you. So it's like a little, triangle and it works really well especially if you're like in a rush or anything and it's just like a really pretty everyday lip gloss color and i've been wearing it a lot so the next two are these nyx lip lingerie colors um one is in the color push up and then the other is in the color cashmere silk and i think okay if you look at them side by side there's not much of a difference but push up is just a little bit lighter and it's almost the exact color of my lips but a little bit lighter so i can't really wear it by itself but cashmere silk has been my go-to um almost every day i wear this with a lip gloss or like something lighter in the middle i'll wear these together and they wear really well all right so now we're going to go ahead and get into clothing so the first store that i'm going to talk about is jc pennies i know what you're thinking like pennies like why is she going there well they had a sale around mother's day and me and my mom went and also, like the weekend before that, me and my friends went to JCPenney's too. So this is just two different trips from JCPenney's. So the first thing I got is this really cute dress and it's got little lettuce edge on the bottom, on the sleeves. You can wear it off the shoulder, but I didn't wear it off the shoulder when I wore it before. Um, I wore it kind of just, you know, right about here and that way it won't like fall off or go up and down and be annoying. And the next thing I got is just the swimsuit bottom. Um, I figured this color was really pretty I think it was it was really cheap. I don't remember exactly how much it was, maybe like $3.99, $2.99, but it was really cheap. Um, and I needed something that was like multicolor. And then I also got this just plain, simple navy top. It fits really well, it has rolled up sleeves, and it's really cute. And then kind of to go with it, I got these shorts, which are super adorable. Their shorts are really good quality. Like honestly, these are really good quality. I think these were $12 on sale. Um, but yeah, they go really nice with the navy shirt. And I really like them and they're a really good length. So like I'll probably bring these on vacation with me and wear them because then my dad won't fuss at me for wearing too short of shorts. Speaking of too short of shorts, <laughs> here are two pairs of shorts that are too short. Um, they're high-waisted shorts by Arizona. And I think I got both of these in a size nine, but these are, um, Oh, this is a size seven. Uh, got these in a size nine. Um, and they fit really well and they're comfortable. I definitely say that you should try them on because I'm usually like a five or a seven and that did not work in these. Just, I think, cause they're so high waisted, you might have to go up in sizes and they're also in juniors, so. Um, but yeah, the they're like a little bit too short, but they're perfectly super high waisted and I love that. And there's no rips in them. So they're like actually cute and they won't fall apart in five days. Um, and they're really nice. And then I got the same Arizona jean uh, shorts, but these aren't rolled up at the edges. They're just black and they have like kind of frayed edges. You could say they're kind of rolled up right now, so don't look at that, but um, they're just a little short, but they are high-waisted, so I really like them for that. This store that we're gonna move on to now is like TJ Maxx slash Marshalls slash Burlington. So <laughs> at Burlington, this was actually yesterday, I got this really cute cap and I figured it'll be great to go on the beach for, and I can wear, well, it doesn't really work because I have braids in now, but I can wear my hair in a bun and then wear this and I won't look so frumpy. So this was only 
$6.99. Then I also saw they had some EOS lip balm. This was $4.99 for two. And I'm running out of lip balm, so I need that anyways. Honestly, go check out your local Burlington because they had so much hair stuff. They had so many shoes. They had like, they had some good, they had like Pumas, like Go, go check your Burlington. Go check. Um, next thing is TJ Maxx. So I got this Too Faced Natural Eyes palette. It's so pretty. Look at it. Um, I actually tried to use it over the weekend and it's kind of crappy. So I'm not excited about that. Um, but I might just need to like play around with it a little bit more and like figure out how to work with it. I think I might just need to actually put uh, eyeshadow primer on with it. Um, that might be the problem. Like, I really don't know. So, we'll see. So, yeah. So, the next thing I got is this swimsuit cover-up. And it has a hood on the back. Um, and it's just a tunic, I guess you could say. And it has pockets. I didn't even know it had pockets. But, yeah. Um, I don't remember how much this was. I think it was $12.99. But I've washed it since because I'm going to pack it with me to bring to my vacation. But, yeah. And it's perfectly, like, the, the perfect length where it's not too long but it's not too short. I like that it didn't have any sleeves. I hate when my cover-ups have sleeves. Why would they do that to you? I forgot that I got this nail polish from TJ Maxx too. It was $3.99 OPI. It is what I have on my fingers now. Don't look too close because it's kind of old. I need to repaint my nails today. Um, but I got that. And also, at Marshall's, I got the same nail polish. I got an OPI nail polish in the color Rich, Rich Girls and Poe Boys. That's cute. Um, and it's another blue shade. I just thought it'd be really pretty as like an ocean blue color, you know, for vacation. So I'm gonna bring this with me, maybe paint it on my toes, we'll see. I also got this American Eagle tank top and it's just like this very bright, it's showing up really bright on camera but it's not that bright in person. It's like a lilac color tank top. It's so soft. I love American Eagle shirts, like the soft and sexy stuff. That's honestly my favorite. Um, so I can't wait to wear this. And then the last thing that I got from Marshalls is actually this one piece. It was $5.99. It's also from American Eagle. Um, one piece bodysuit, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, it goes all the way down and buttons at the bottom. And I just thought it'd be so pretty and maybe really cute for like game days, going to the bars or whatever. So yeah. So next we're going to move on to Target. And the first thing that I got is this... Okay. The first thing that I got is this skirt and it's kind of like asymmetrical. It looks like a salsa skirt. It's so cute and it's in this black and white gingham print color and it was on sale for $11.48. I got a size 2, which I'm not usually size 2 in women's, but I guess I am now. And it's just so cute. Oh, I love it. So I got this one piece swimsuit and I kind of vowed this year to only wore two pieces because last year I only wore one pieces and my stomach was really white so that was kind of embarrassing but I still got a one piece I don't know whatever <laughs> it was really cute okay I could not pass up so it looks like this it's got palm leaves all over it and it has like this beautiful detailing down the middle where it's like see-through and then the back has this cool like lacing up stuff it's really cool honestly it was like really pretty i tried it on it fit perfectly so i had to get it I think so the next store that i went to is old navy and i just have to show off this really cute jumpsuit and it has pockets and i think it's like capri length and yeah i'm just like really happy with it and it's so beautiful and then i also got some two dollar foot flops and they're just metallic for the beach from Amazon, I got this really cute top. So it's just one of those like, it's basically this top that I'm wearing right now, but with straps. So it's really adorable. And I honestly got it to wear with that skirt. Um, and I love it. Okay, so next we're gonna move on to some thrifted finds. And the first thing is from actually this um, store or retailer um, from Houston. And they're called Vida Antigua, and I'll try to link them down below. They have a Facebook and an Instagram, and I can't wait to go to their pop-up store. But I found this after an Astros game. They were just like outside in downtown Houston, right in front of my hotel. And I was like, okay, let me go look. It was like this whole little vintage market, and they were there, and I found this adorable jump jumper, whatever it's called, I don't know, a little overall. It's shorts and honestly, it's so cute. I just love it so much. I've already worn it like three times and I'm just so happy with it. So the next place I went was Plato's Closet and I went and sold some stuff there 
and then I did some shopping and I actually tried to film a thrift haul but I lost my SD card so I lost the film that I had already the stuff that I already filmed I lost it so so I'm just gonna put it in this haul um so yeah so I got this top actually and I think it was only five dollars I keep saying up I'm literally wearing like Nike shorts I need to stop doing that speaking of Nike shorts though I found two brand new pair of Nike shorts and they're LSU Nike shorts um but yeah so I found some white ones they're so cute and then I found some gold ones with purple piping and they were so cute. I think they were $7.99, I want to say, or $8.99. Um, but these are like, what, $30, $25 normally. So I was very happy to pay that. Okay, so the next place that I went and did a little bit of thrift shopping is Goodwill. I found these boots. Um, let's try and go back a little back. And they are knee-high boots and they're suede and they look brand new. Like, I did not understand. You have the lace-ups in the back. How, how are these brand new and they were at Goodwill? And they were $15.99, which normally you'd probably pay about $30 for these, so I was totally okay with that. And then the next thing that I got are these two scarves from Goodwill. And I was kind of on the trend, like I was following the trend of everybody like putting these around their head and like making them headbands and being super cute. So I think I'll do that with these, but I got this red one um, and it has like brown accents in it and some yellow. And then I also got this black and white one. It's actually from Lane Bryant. And they were, I think they were like 99 cents or $1.99 at Goodwill. So I was very happy about getting those. Okay, the next thing, don't judge me, is a dad shirt. <laughs> it's this blue button down shirt. And I figured it'd be really cute if I tied it in the front. And like, where does a crop top with something underneath? And it'd just be really cute. I'm like super vintage. So got that. And then I also found this shirt that I'm probably going to use for a cover up. Um, and it was from, this shirt was from Free People. Um, but I found it at Goodwill for whatever, like $3.99 or something. Um, originally like $45, but it's so see-through, unbelievably see-through. You really can't tell right here, but I like won't be able to wear stuff under it unless I wear, you know, a bralette or whatever. Um, but I think I'll use it because it's so long. I'll probably use it as a cover-up for vacation. So I'm really excited about that. It's also super soft. So so the last thing, the entire haul that I got from Goodwill is this Old Navy dress. Cause I love Old Navy. And it is a Navy dress. Wow. So yeah, it's just like this fit and flare dress. It's super cute. It doesn't look, there's like no stains on it or, or anything. Like it looks pretty much brand new and I was very excited to get that. So if you guys stayed for this entire haul, um, y'all are awesome. So comment down below, pineapple. Do it now so nobody else knows it. Um, but thank you guys so, so much for watching this whole thing if you did. Um, if you like this video, give me a like and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.